Welcome back. Well, another winter storm brewing off of the North Pacific headed our way this week, and the mountains definitely going to catch some heavy accumulation. As we check out our jet stream indicator, this is where things are going to play out or how things are going to play out over the next few hours. Now, the colors you're seeing on the map, that's where the strongest upper level winds are. And the reason I'm showing you these is this is what's going to hook onto that North Pacific moisture and drag it down into the state. As we take you over and show you the water vapor imagery, again, this is going to be the amount of atmospheric moisture. Moisture moving into our area, and you can just see where those upper level winds, that big dip in the jet stream, is hooking onto that North Pacific moisture, dragging into the, into the region. So, we're going to start to see heavy, heavy snow as early as tomorrow into western Colorado, but likely not until Monday night here into eastern Colorado. There's what that system looks like now. We are seeing a few little bands of snow into western Colorado, but again, that driving force with some cooler air moving in off of the Pacific as we speak. Here's how things have kind of played out over the past. Few hours. So, bright and early at 12 a.m., we're looking relatively clear throughout eastern Colorado. That system moving through, there's some warmer air ahead of this incoming cold front. So, that's going to keep those temperatures on Sunday just a touch warmer. But as soon as that warmer air moves out of the region late Sunday afternoon, that's when that cold front is going to start knocking at our doorstep and moving in some heavy bands of snow across western Colorado. That's warranted a few winter storm warnings and also avalanche watches for western Colorado. Again, those storms are going to continue to track into eastern Colorado Monday night. As for highs tomorrow, pushing the 60 degree mark here into Pueblo, 55 into the Springs. 54 seems to be the magic number out to eastern Colorado and the 30s into the high terrain, so a lot colder into the mountains over the next seven days. Here's how things play out for us, though. Again, kind of like the Christmas lights there, get a little festive for you. <laughs> 55 into Sunday, and then again, that's when that rain snow mix late Monday moves in, really dropping those temperatures. They'll regain a little bit of strength on Wednesday, just in time for another system on Christmas Day. But right now, it doesn't look like that snow is going to really do much for the area on Christmas. Earlier, we were thinking we were going to have a nice white Christmas, but likely not going to see snowfall until late Christmas afternoon, maybe even into the evening. So, of course, that's still a ways out, so we'll continue to track that into Canyon City. We're going to see that rain snow mix transitioning to snow overnight Monday. Teller County, same story, 44 for Sunday, so a nice start, or I should say wrap up to the weekend. But then those temperatures fall off the charts, especially Tuesday. Pretty wicked cold front, as you notice, a big, big drop in temperatures. So it's got some really cold air to work with and a lot of moisture. Skiers will love this. Travelers, or I should say, lay travelers, not so much. All right, Jason.